Hi, welcome to the Art Gallery of Mississauga. My name is Shannon Anderson. I'm the curator here. And today I'm here to talk to you about Tropicana, which is a solo exhibition of the work of Juan Ortiz Apuy. And it's brought to us by Vox, Centre l'Image Contemporain in Montreal. And today Juan is here to talk about the exhibition and some of the ideas behind it. Tropicana is a traveling exhibition. It is intended for a youth audience of ages 6 to 14, which was definitely one of the most challenging components for me, was about how to make something that is visually appealing and attractive to that age group, but that also has a critical component to it. Two big inspirations for the exhibition are ASMR videos, where people manipulate objects uh, very carefully and very subtly on a microphone to induce a physical sensation on people. Uh, and unboxing videos, which is a giant phenomenon that most people would know that is people unboxing things in front of the camera. And I'm fascinated by those things about like how people can have this deep relationship to matter. This work is titled Midnight Sun and I'm interested in the role that advertising and design play in the journey of a commodity. And I'm thinking about the ways in which something is infused and embedded with all kinds of properties and qualities. And I'm interested in how design wants to draw power from those things to infuse it into the commodity. So the video in the exhibition titled Tropicana, to me, that was the main work behind this exhibition. And it's an exploration of objects through sound and touch. And what I did was manipulate objects very closely in front of the microphone to layer the sound so they would become a kind of soundtrack. And the soundtrack that I wanted was inspired by Latin American music, by tropical music, to a kind of like cumbia song of sorts. So all of the objects that I collected for the video are presented in the exhibition as well, in a kind of library of objects of sorts. And visitors to the exhibition are invited to manipulate and feel them and touch them. And I'm thinking about tactility quite a bit too. Like I'm thinking about how tactility today is being reduced to the swipe of a finger on an LED screen. Um, and thinking about how to promote that in that age group that the exhibition is intended for, for them to think about tactility and the richness of information that can come from that. So one of the sculptural works in the exhibition is this inflatable that is made out of recycled and repurposed polyester. And it presents something that looks like a metamorphosis between a bottle, a spray bottle, and an animal of sorts. And I'm interested in that conflation between the animate and the inanimate, the organic and the inorganic. Again, because I think that is a language that you see often in product display. But I truly believe that as consumers, we do think that commodities do have a kind of animate power of their own and an ability to change us and affect us. So I'm interested in, in kind of following and thinking about uh, presenting that in the exhibition. The Art Gallery of Mississauga is free to all visitors and we invite you to come and explore this exhibition.